Hello, amazing artists. Miss Hales here with your next art lesson. Today, we're going to make masked selfie surprise self-portraits. Remember, a portrait is a painting, drawing, or photograph of a person. A self-portrait is a painting, drawing, or photograph of yourself. This is a two-day project. On the first day, we're gonna draw everything in pencil. And then for the second day, we're going to color everything in. And you can outline on either day that you have time. Check it out, isn't it cool? I love it. All right, for this first part of the lesson, um, we're gonna need to just notebook paper and pencil because you're gonna actually practice drawing some cartoon eyes, a nose, and a mouth. And you'll also need a black crayon or a Sharpie. And then you, the other thing you'll need today is your finished nine by 12 piece of paper. And then for next week, you'll just need crayons. This is our goal for today. Now we're gonna practice how to draw some eyes, noses, and mouths. Now let's practice drawing some eyes. My first eye is gonna be very cartoony and it's gonna look like an eye that is surprised. So I want my pupil or the black part of my eye to be really, really big and the white part of my eye to be really small. I'm gonna draw just a few eyelashes and a small curved eyebrow that's gonna help communicate that surprised look. I'm just gonna color in my pupil and leave a little white dot for a highlight. Now for my second eye, it doesn't have to look exactly like your first eye. You need to leave your eyes about a finger's distance apart Notice this eye is a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna make that darker outline on the inside of my eye. I'm gonna make three eyelashes, a curved, small, surprised eyebrow, and I'm gonna make my pupil big, and I'm gonna color that in and leave a little highlight. We're gonna be coloring in with crayon, but for practicing, um, you can color in with Sharpie or black crayon if you want. Now let's make some angry eyes. You want those eyebrows to be down in the middle and curve up and out as you go towards the outside part of the eye. You don't want a big round surprised eye. You want an eye that's more like a turned on its side teardrop. Again, you can have big pupils with little whites of your eye, and you can leave a little highlight in the middle if you want. I added some frown lines for emphasis. This is just a normal, straightforward, I'm looking right at your eye. Part of the pupil and the, and the iris is gonna disappear under the lid of the eye. If you wanna make the top lid a little bit darker, you can, you don't have to. So you're gonna practice making three or four different kinds of eyes until you come up with one that you like or that you feel like looks the most like you. Now for noses. My motto with noses is keep it simple. You can draw the two little lines curving out for your nostril. You can draw one of those and um, just little upside down question mark, a little sideways triangle, or just a little like curved mountain shape. If you get into too much detail with your nose, it's gonna to start to look like a pig. Now you need to figure out what kind of mouth you want. If you want just a big, wide open grin, you can draw a, a layer for your top teeth and a, a row or a layer for your bottom teeth and make the middle between them dark. You can draw um, more of a surprised mouth where the top is open and you can see inside the mouth and just see the tongue, like your mouth is gaping open. If you want a sideways, kind of a sarcastic grin, then you're gonna draw pretty much just one side of your mouth. I like to make each of the corners a little bit darker if you're gonna do that kind of cartoon mouth. You can draw just a simple curved line and that works fine too. If you want to draw a giant, huge smile, then you're going to draw it like this. Curved line at the top, a big curved deep U, and then you can draw, try to draw each tooth separately, or you can draw, like we did above, just a row for the top teeth and a row for the bottom teeth. So 
So come up with a mouth that you like, that you think suits your personality and the way that you look. So why don't you practice two or three different mouths too. If you'd like to pause the video now and practice um, some eyes, noses, and mouths while you leave this facial expressions reference up, you can do that for about five minutes. Now let's put it all together to make your self-portrait selfie surprise. Take a 9 by 12 piece of paper and fold it in half, bringing the bottom part up to the top. I like to line up my corners before I make my crease. Then you're going to fold both pieces of paper, or you can do it one at a time, back down to that middle crease. You want to make a nice crisp edge on your fold. Now you want to open up that back section or the one top section of your paper. You want to find about the middle of your paper and on each side of your finger, about a finger's distance or width apart, you want to draw your eyelids. And then you want to draw the bottom of your eye right on that fold or crease. Now you want to draw your iris, which is the colored part of your eye. And then you're going to draw your pupils, which is the part of your eye that helps you see. If you want to color half of your pupils black, you can do that. By the way, you can draw with pencil or marker. I like to draw with pencil first in case I make any mistakes and then go over my pencil line with marker. If you'd like to add some eyelashes and some eyebrows, now would be a good time to do that. About halfway up this section, in the middle of your paper, you're going to draw a dot, and then you're going to draw your forehead from the left side of the fold onto the dot and back down to the right side of the fold. If you have short hair and you can see your ears, or if you want to have a hairstyle where you, your ears show, you can draw your ears. Now is a fun time to play with the texture of your hair. Is your hair curly or is your hair straight? This project is easier to draw short hair or draw your hair up. Now you're, all, now you're going to draw your mask. So you want to draw the bottom of your face or your chin. Put a dot almost at the very bottom of the second section and draw the bottom of your face. Now you're going to draw your mask. Your mask is a curved line that's going to cover your nose and your mouth. So one of the coolest parts of seeing all these masks is seeing how creative people are with their fabric. I love looking at all the colors and patterns on the fabric. So this is your opportunity to draw a really cool mask for yourself. Maybe it's a sports mask. Maybe it's a rainbow mask. So this is what a short hairstyle would look like with a few short bangs. It would be mostly above your ears and above your your hairline but the bottom part the mask part is going to be the same that's the curved line going um, above where your nose would go and then you're going to put any kind of pattern you want on your mask now for this project today the mask is going to cover the whole bottom part of our face now we get to open up our paper and redraw the bottom part of our face without the mask on. So we're working in the second section down from the top of our paper. Now we're gonna redraw our chin. If it helps you to draw that dot in the, at the bottom of the second section and then connect the sides of your face to that, that works. You wanna put your nose at the top of this second section and you can draw your nose however you want. I suggest you keep it simple and you want to draw a big goofy smile or grin. I like to put a little flying bird for the tongue and then I'm going to put lots of teeth in my mouth. If you have braces you can draw braces or if you're missing a tooth you can draw that too. Now you're going to draw your neck just part of your neck and you're, it's going to stop right about where that third section down would start. Let me show you a different way to draw your face. You could draw an upside down question mark for the nose and you can offset your smile so that it's a little bit crooked. The tongue is the same and you can draw two or three or four teeth or a mouthful of teeth. Don't forget to connect your ears if you can see them if you have short hair. 
finish off that neck. And now comes the part where you get to write words that describe you. I'll show you how to do bubble letters. Write your words very simply and then trace around them with rounded letters. You want to have, think of descriptive words that describe who you are as a person. Let's go beyond pretty and nice. Let's think a little more deeply about descriptive words or adjectives that describe you. If you can't think of, of three or four or five words, you can ask your family or a friend to help you. Maybe you're bookish. I'm sure you're smart. Maybe you're super kind. Maybe you're thoughtful. Maybe you're athletic. Maybe you're artistic. Maybe you are a baker. You can make any kind of letters you want. You can make block letters, you can make bubble letters, or you can just write your letters. And keep it simple with simple straight letters. So where your descriptive words are gonna go are those two sections or two areas in the middle of your paper that are covered up by the mask section of your paper. And you wanna keep all the words that you're gonna describe, use to describe yourself in those two sections. If you wanna put some uh, lines or dashes or wavy lines or speech bubbles around your descriptive words, that's fine. You can also put lots of doodles in the spaces in between your letters. If you wear glasses, you can close back up your masked selfie surprise and draw the top of your glasses and then open up the, your masked selfie surprise and draw the bottom of your glasses. I put glasses on in my self-portrait selfie surprise because I wear glasses to help me see better when I'm reading or drawing. I'm going to put a few more doodles in this area, things like stars and spirals and lots of adjectives to describe me. The art elements we use today are line and shape. We used space because we thought about our composition and how our papers or pages are laid out. Next week, we're gonna add the art element of color. Remember, you guys are just working in pencil today to get your drawing done and your adjectives written. If you have time, uh, you can outline or go over your pencil lines with black crayon or Sharpie, or you can do that next week. I realize this project has a lot of steps, so I made you this handy dandy outline cheat sheet that you can um, freeze the screen and leave it up. I hope you have fun working on your self-portrait selfie surprises. I'll see you next class.